Let's enable some PCM controlled cooling fans on your Gen 3 LS PCM. If you haven't seen the videos I posted before this, I suggest you go watch them. It explains how to get to this point to where you can start changing stuff on the bin file. Go watch those videos. There should be a playlist button at the bottom of this video. Click on it and watch all those videos. Catch yourself up if you haven't seen them. Let's get right into it, you guys. Open up Tuner Pro. Open your bin and your XDF file. Go down until you see the fans folder. It says fans slash AC. This will allow you to enable cooling fans if you want your PCM to be able to control your radiator fans when they turn on when they turn off this is really interesting because there is options for two fans or one fan and an ac auto recirculation function you can turn off the ac auto recirculation function by just unchecking this box here so unchecked equals fan two control and checked equals auto recirculation next down we're going to go to fan number one turn on temp this will allow you to control at what temperature your coolant temp needs to be at for fan number one to turn on you can set to whatever temperature you want i have mine set to 200 degrees fahrenheit also you can set when you want it to turn off too so 190 is where i want my cooling fan to turn off so there's other options like turn on temp uh, a, with the AC on. So with the AC on, this is kind of a re ridiculous temp that it comes with from the factory. It's 284 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think you want your engine getting that hot. A lot of my LS swaps don't even use AC, so I don't really even mess with this stuff. Fan one, turn off speed. You can turn your cooling fans off at a certain vehicle speed. So if you want your fan to turn off, let's say at 120 miles per hour or 100 miles per hour, you just input that in this one and hit save this one is kind of cool i'm going to skip through some of these so run on temp is pretty cool i have my fan one set to 200 degrees to turn on if when i shut the engine down if the coolant temperature is above let's say 210 we'll set it for 210 then the fan will stay on for a certain amount of time so then you go to run on time and let's just say 60 seconds so it'll run for a whole minute after i turn off the vehicle if the coolant temperature is above 210 when i shut the vehicle off so that's pretty cool as well um same thing for fan number twos yeah that's it for the cooling fans. It's pretty simple. There's explanations. If you hover over each parameter, it'll explain what it does and how to change it. So that is how to enable cooling fans on your PCM for your LS swap. Stay tuned for the next video. I think we're going to go over how to switch up your transmission calibration and do some segment swaps with that. So stay tuned for that. I'll be doing that one tomorrow. So stick around. Give me a follow if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. LS swap everything. Have a good day.